In this video, we'll look at what's new in Shortcut version 25.07.26, so let's dive in. The first thing, there's a new team, and that is called the System Fusion Team. So right now, I'm using the Fusion Dark Team. So if I were to switch it to the System Fusion, it will look something like this. It's a combination of the System Team with the Monochromatic uh, Team in the Fusion Team. So it is really brighter and have contrast, so if you prefer, you can use this new team. Next is the Whisper model downloader that allows you to download different versions of the large language models if you are using speech-to-text. Inclusion of this means that when you want to use speech-to-text, you will have to download the model. This is just to make shortcuts file size a little bit smaller when you are downloading it and you download whichever model that you want to use if you use speech-to-text. So it is quite simple. So the first time that you use speech-to-text, they will ask you whether you want to download this. So let's say I want to download this. Go to configuration and you can uh, choose the model here. Now I have downloaded one. There are small ones and large ones as well. So let's say I want to download another one, say the tiny English one, just for this demo. And that's all there is to downloading the model and you can select which model to use. Okay. I'm just going to use this for the next step of this uh, review. Okay. So speech to te text is extracting the text and created the subtitles. The third thing is there's a new outline filter. So the best way to show you is to demonstrate this. And I am just going to let the subtitles uh, filter create text on the timeline. And let's create something different. Uh, this is the, the default style that I have created for myself. It's called typewriter 60. Okay, so you have uh, the text that is in typewriter style font. So what I want to show you is this uh, filter, which is the outline filter. You add an outline filter here, so that your words may start to look like fire. Okay, change the color. Let's change to something red. And you can change the thickness. All right, so now you can copy this and paste it to the other text as well. Right, so this is the outline filter. Now you will work with any uh, item like right, with a transparent background. For example, text in this situation has a transparent background, so it works with this, and uh, it also works with the drop shadow. So next, there is also a soft focus filter. So if you want to have soft focus for your video, you can do that. Click on add a filter and click on soft focus. So it is a combination of several filters that help you create a dreamy look in your video if you want to. Or, or you want to create, say, a, a softer look for something, say, with the skin. Adjust the level of uh, softness or blur that you prefer. Next, there's also a new setting that allows you to adjust your uh, audio right from the timeline. To do this, you go to your settings and go to timeline and you can turn on adjust clip gain or volume. With this turn on, you can now adjust the volume right at the timeline of your video. So if you have say a clip that has been split and you want one section to be louder or softer, you can easily do that. There are also other improvements and adjustments as well. You can check it out on the shortcuts blog. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. If you want to learn shortcut fast, do consider my course, the official shortcut training. The link is in the description. And check out what's on the screen right now for other tips related to shortcut as well.